hello everyone welcome back to this video series on clinical sas tfl programming in this video we will see how to program treatment emergent adverse events by primary system organ class and preferred term table so the layout of the table is like we instead of the earlier table where we have presented only the overall row and the preferred terms so we are grouping the preferred terms based on the system organ class as well in the earlier table we had two levels one for overall and the second level was our preferred terms but we have an added level that is an intermediate level which is our system organ class level so we'll see how to make use of the previously programmed adverse events by preferred term table code and then complete the programming for this table so we have programmed the table uh, earlier so which is treatment emergent adverse events by preferred term only so we have the code available for this table we will try to make use of this table's code and then program this table so i will leave a link for the previous uh, video which we have done for adverse events by preferred term only table in the description of this video so i encourage you to watch that video before watching this video so now let's move to the programming so here the lesson is l101 so i have again as seen in the previous video i am clearing up the my output window and log window and then i have my uh, proc data sets step to kill all the work library data sets before running this entire piece of code and then i have included my data file for lesson 101 which has data for both soc and pt level information so let's run till this point of code and then see what happens so here we have adae data set with 84 observations and adsl data set with 15 observations so before we start any uh, table we may be interested in looking at the unique values in some of the variables so one particular variable of interest is trt01 an of adsl so we can check the unique values by running this piece of code so we have treatment 0 treatment 54 and 81 and there are five subjects in each of those treatments so there are total 15 subjects so in this and then let us write a proc contents for our ADA data set and then see what are the variables available in that so here we have AE bodices, AE decode, adverse event start date, safety flag, record level treatment uh, variable which is TRTAN and then treatment emergent analysis flag or treatment emergent adverse events flag and then U sub JD variable so we have checked the variables and we have checked the unique values and treatment variables present in ADSL. So as I have uh, reused the code from L105A to generate this report, I have the same piece of code already available. I am creating a variable called treatment to have the values like 1 for treatment 0, 2 for 54 and 3 for 81 and then I am using an output statement. This output statement replicates the row with the values of 1, 2, 3 and for 0, 54 and 81 so that the subject gets accounted under the treatment which he or she took and then I am replicating the same row the, the second time using another output statement but before that output statement I am replacing the value uh, in the original treatment value with a 4 so that the subject gets accounted under total column so in the next step I have filtered for safety subjects and then the treatment emergent adverse events of those safety subjects and then i did the same processing for uh, treatment mapping but using trtan because we have record level treatment variable available in adae so, and again the same concept of replicating the row for total column by using an explicit output statement and then we created our dummy treatment totals to have all four possible levels so we have 1 2 3 and 4 so here the original values for 0 54 and 81 so to make the changes minimal so i have remapped up front in the initial input data set so that i do not need to change 
any of the downstream processing if I have to reuse this code anywhere else. So do treatment is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and then I fetch the treatment totals based on the actual data and I rename the count variable present in this output data set as TRT total and then drop the percentage variable and then here I have merged the dummy treatment totals which has all the possible rows uh, irrespective of what is there in the data so with the actual treatment totals coming out of the proc freak and then if a record is present or if a treatment is present only in the dummy treatment but not in the actual treatment totals I am assigning a value of 0 to the treatment total variable and then I have created macro variables for each of the treatments which has the treatment totals in those uh, treatments using calls input x and then we obtain the counts so in the previous table we only had top row and then AED code level rows so now we also have SOC level row so for that what we need to do is add a piece of code which gets us so till this point we did not make any changes to the code all we are doing now is adding an additional section for SOC level counts. So here in this SOC level counts let's call this data set which we are creating for SOC as SOC row 01 and then here when fetching the SOC level counts we need to group the counts based on the AE birds variable. So AE birds is I am replacing it here as well. So now we have the counts for SOC level as well. Let's run till this point in the code and then see how our good. So there seems to be no log issues. So everything is fine. So let us open SOC row 1 and see what we have there. So we have SOC row level counts for uh, based on the actual data present in our input. So we have one row per SOC and per treatment which is available in the data and the associated number of subjects who had an event in that system organ class in this data set. So for this table when we are creating the PT rows what we need to do is like we need to group the preferred terms within a system organ class. If we go back to the table report if you see the preferred term atrioventricular block second degree is uh, belongs to the uh, system organ class cardiac disorders say for example similarly eye allergy is uh, belongs to a system organ class eye disorders and diarrhea is related to the system organ called gastrointestinal disorders so we need to group the preferred term counts within SOC counts so we need to incorporate that change so here earlier we only had to group the counts based on the preferred term and treatment but now we need to add the level of system organ class and preferred uh, above preferred term. So now we have our preferred term counts within each SOC. Let's run this piece of code, examine the log, everything seems to be fine and let's open PT row now. So now we have our preferred term level counts within each SOC and treatment. So this is the one change that we have to make for our PT row count. So we have created an additional level called SOC row and then for PT row we have an added uh, upper level grouping for body system. So we have added that. So as we now have three data sets or three levels so we need to append the counts for all three levels. So let me paste that data set and let me also change the names of the variables in this way. The temporary variable for I am using B for the SOC row and C for PT row. So as I only had two earlier, I have used A for top row and B for PT row. But as I have now three and as SOC has an upper precedence, I am just using B for SOC and C for PT row. And then there will be a small change here in this section of line 139 and 40 because we have a, to display the AE body system level as well. So let me replicate this line of code and paste it here and then if B and if C. So B corresponds to the rows which are coming for SOC data set. So in that case so the label has to be displayed is from the variable AE body system and then for the rows coming from preferred term in the label column I need to display 
the preferred term. So why I am creating a single column here is if you take a look at the report, so the, the three levels of counts are being presented or the text is being displayed only in one of the variables. So for the rows which are uh, corresponding to only SOC, the label has to be from AE boards variable. Uh, for the preferred terms under that SOC in the display column, we need to display the preferred term value with some indentation of three spaces. So I am creating this label to match the text content that has to be displayed in this first column of the report. So let me add indentation to of three spaces for that what we can do is add three spaces use our concatenation operator and strip AD code and concatenate it to the leading spaces. So we have now created the label column. So one additional change, the first change we made was creating the SOC row data set. Second change we made was for adding the AE boards as an upper level grouping when fetching the counts for preferred term. And then the third change we made is here to how to create the label column. And then, so again, as we have an level of AE board system now in all the downstream processing, we just need to keep on adding AE body system. So we need, so let me add it here. So I need to add AE body system variable in all the downstream processing because now my grouping is at body system and AE decode level. So before that, what we are trying to do here is create one row per body system and AE decode and overall row and then replicating that each unique row for body system and AE decode for each treatment using a do loop. And then we are sorting our dummy data set and the actual counts data set and merging them together. And if a row is present only in a dummy data set but not in the actual count, so we are assigning the counts to zero. So we need to add AE body system variable in this merge step as well. And then what we are trying to do here is in order to calculate the percentages, we are fetching the treatment total into our count data set by merging the treatment totals and count data set at treatment level. And then we are calculating the percentage. No change is expected in this step. And then we finally need to restructure the data set such that the treatments become columns. Here in this case, we need our AE body system also to be present as a variable. So for that same reason, I am adding it to the by group. So let's run till this step and then see how our table looks like. So I have run till count 05. So let's open count 05 and see how this looks like. So if you see, there are I have created the label column and then the treatment columns now appear as columns. So now let us go to the reporting portion. So in the reporting portion, what we need to do is we need to add additional variable called AE bodices, AE decode as well, but we will use them for sorting purposes, but do not print them. So let us add and define statements for those two variables as well. AE bodices, order, no print, AE decode, also order no print and then in the column header for label as we now have both preferred term and soc level so we need to add a label for system organ class as well system organ class and then we need to add some indentation for preferred term label so we have used three uh, spaces for indentation of the preferred term actual values so the same thing needs to be reflected in the header as well so no additional change is expected here everything needs to be fine so only thing that we need to change is instead of we need to add a space after each soc 
so i am changing that line of code wherein we have created a break after or a blank line after each order variable i am changing it to ae board says now so i think this is all what we need to change so let's try to save this code and run the entire piece of code and see how our report looks like so something seems to be okay there is a typo ae board says is not available so let me copy so there is a typo here as well a board says a board says and then let's run the code and see everything seems to be working fine and we have our report generated so it we had five subjects in each of the treatment that is appropriately reflected in the header and then we have the total column as well so let's try to increase the page size a little Let, let's say let make let's make it 25 and then rerun the code so we'll have now more number of observations getting fitted on a page so here if you see overall from the system cardiac organ class of cardiac disorders there were two preferred terms or two different distinct events experienced by subjects under eye disorders there were three different preferred terms experienced by the subjects so this is how you can make use of your ae by pt table with some minimal changes you can code the ae by soc and pt table as well now let us go back to the code and then try to see what changes we have made when compared to the ae by pt table the first change that we made is to add a data set to contain the soc level counts and then in the p when fetching the pt level counts we have added an upper level grouping of ae body system so that the aed codes are grouped within each system organ class and then when creating the label column we have added an additional step and then appended the soc row counts as well and then for the rows coming from soc we have used the value from ae body system label column and for the rows coming from preferred terms we have used the value from aed code in the label column with an appropriate indentation added by concatenating leading spaces and then we have added ae bodices in the by grouping in all the downstream processing and then changed the proc reporting section to add ae body system and aed code in the column statement but use them only for ordering the records but not printed them so that we have printed the label column but not the individual AE body system or AED code column. And then one other change we have made is to uh, add a blank line after each AE body system. We have changed the variable from order to AE body system in this compute block. So this is how you can make use of the code. Thank you for watching and keep learning.